problems. Question number 26. It says solve the Riccati's differential equation given by y prime equals y minus x the whole squared plus 1. Now initial condition is given y at 0 is 1. You, are, you have been given that the first solution is x, y1 is x. So how do we do this? Remember, students, in the case of Riccati solution, Riccati differential equation, one solution, you see, has to be given, so it is already given. If it is not given, it's up to us, okay, to just bring a trivial solution. You see, usually you may consider y1 to be 1 or y1 to be a certain constant number, like, and also y1 to be x or minus x, 1 over x, negative 1 over x, let you try all this, okay? But most of the time, it will be given to you. Now, let's rewrite this in terms of Riccati form, the one we studied in the classroom. So, this is y prime, y minus x, the whole squared plus 1. Students, this is nothing but it's equivalent to this one. Look, y minus x squared can be written as y squared minus 2xy plus x squared. So, just taking negative 2xy to the right, you do have 2xy. And the plus y squared is taken to the left minus y squared. And then x squared plus 1 is, is kept as it is. So, we are having this. So, this is Riccati, students because your p of x is 2x and your f of x here is negative 1 okay and your r of x is x squared plus 1 so this is a Riccati differential equation so remember that if once you identify that this is a Riccati the general solution is given by y is equal to what student v plus the given one solution and the given one solution is x as i wrote here it is x so y is equal to v plus the given solution is the general form so now we need to determine what v is and here we are going to change the non bernoulli's riccati differential equation to a bernoulli's form and this is the reason why we have this kind of what form as a general output so now once we obtain y is equal to v plus x we need to look for first derivative of this one and substitute here in place of your d in the differential equation okay so your first derivative is going to be v derivative plus one because the derivative of x is one so y derivative is one plus v prime now directly we can substitute the obtained y the given y and y prime in place of what this y and y prime uh, values of your differential equations okay so this is your differential equation so try to put y prime here by one substitute by one plus v prime so here i did one plus v prime then plus comes 2x goes as it is but in place of y you need to take v plus x because you see y is v plus x as you see x plus v or v plus x minus you need to square this y that is x plus v or v plus x must be squared and this has to be equated with x squared plus one now let's simplify so when we simplify this one plus v prime comes here plus two x squared as you see it is two x squared then plus two x v minus x squared minus two x v minus v squared can come this directly comes from this expansion 2x times x makes 2x squared, 2x times v makes 2xv, so when you square this, x squared plus 2xv plus v squared comes, due to the presence of minus outside, all terms go, all terms will have a negative what? A coefficient as you see, then this has to be equated with x squared plus 1. Now look, there are terms to be cancelled here, 2x squared minus x squared makes x squared, this x squared can cancel x squared, and here 2xv can cancel minus 2xv. And also one can cancel what number one here. So the only left the only left thing is the equation is going to be this one. V prime is equal to V squared. And this is a Bernoulli's differential equation basically. So how are we going to find the solution for this one? So simple. You can directly use the you see separation technique. We knew that V prime is you see nothing but it is dv by dx so bring this v square to the left to be v the power of minus 2 because you divide the whole by v square and the one written here dv over dx dx is going to come to the right as you see so finally upon using you see direct integration we can have integral of v the power of minus 2 integral of dx and this makes integral of v the power of minus 2 to be negative of v the power of minus 1 because add 1 here minus 2 plus 1 to be minus 1 so you will take minus 1 again down. So for that, you are having minus here. So the integral of dx turns to be x plus c. You see, student? x plus c. Because the integral of dx is x.
Now what you obtain here is v is minus 1 over x plus c because the negative of v is a power of minus 1 can be negative 1 over v, okay? Here you are having x plus c over 1, so take the reciprocal. v turns to be negative 1 over x plus c. Our intention was to determine what v is going to be, you see? Because the general solution was written as y is equal to v plus x. Thus, you see, the general solution is with y is equal to v plus x. Now we determine what v is, you see? It is here, minus 1 over x plus c. So have that as it is. x is here, minus 1 over x plus c. So this is a general solution. But you are not asked to find the general solution. Rather, a particular solution is expected because at x0, y has to be 1, as you see. So put 1 here when x is 0. So look, from this you can obtain that when x is, is 0, just put 0 throughout in x and have, you see, 1 in y. Then 1 here comes, x is 0, again 0 plus c is going to come, and from this, the value of c, c can be determined as follows. 0 minus 1 over z, 0 plus c makes negative 1 over c, so from this one can know that the value of c is minus 1. So what you need to do is, the obtained c value, minus 1, must be substituted here in the general solution, look here. So the particular solution is going to be y is equal to, you see, y is equal to x minus 1 over x minus c, because c is obtained to be negative 1. This is the particular solution. I hope you have understood how this Riccati differential equation is solved. Let's proceed to the next one, the next question. You have been also asked to find the solution for this Riccati differential equation. Another Riccati differential equation with, with uh, you see, um, this uh, given solution, y of x equals 1, as a 1 solution, okay? So how are we going to find this? This can be done in the following approach, students. So dy over dx equals y square over x plus y over x minus 2 over x. This looks as if it is not written directly. When you see directly, you see, it looks, it looks as if it's not. But let's rearrange. You know that dy over dx is y prime. So let's take, take this y over x to the left. It will be negative 1 over xy. And again, take this y square over x to the left, it will be negative 1 over x so times y squared, and have this minus 2 over x as it is. You see, student, this is a Riccati differential equation where p of x is, you see, the coefficient of y, which actually is negative 1 over x, and the coefficient of y squared, which, which we treated as, you see, f of x in our classroom, negative 1 over x is taken, and r of x, this is the one written after the equality sign, minus 2 over x is here. So this is a Riccati differential equation. So if, if you are sure that it is a Riccati, is a general solution, as we discussed before, is y is equal to, you see the first given solution plus what? v. Okay, so the first given solution here is 1, so just directly take 1 here, plus v. So if we know what v is, we are done. It's a matter of knowing v now here, okay? So let's determine now this v by changing this non Bernoulli's Riccati to a Bernoulli's what? Riccati differential equation. So to do that, we need to determine the derivative of this one because that is required here. We are going to substitute, so we need to have that. So the derivative of y prime, uh, the derivative of y is going to be y prime is equal to v prime because as you are performing the derivative of this one, this is zero constant and the derivative of v is v prime so y prime comes to be v prime so now what you need to do is look everything is uh, now written dy over dx is y prime and that can be evaluated and substituted by v prime so this is going to be equal to look we are having here x x x rot so we can have x as a common denominator and then y squared plus y minus 2 is going to come and we knew what y is, it is 1 plus v, so make it square, as you see, plus y is 1 plus v, here it is, and minus 2 is written. So let you simplify the numerator. When you simplify the numerator, students, you can obtain this to be v squared plus 3v over x. So look, let's rearrange this. As you are rearranging this, you see you come across with this kind of expression. You see students, v prime plus minus 3 over x v equals 1 over x v square can come. Loved ones, this is a Bernoulli's differential equation. And we do have a specific formula in order to determine the solution of this one. But we don't use y because everything is written in terms of v. So we have to answer, you see, this one in terms of v. But 
At the beginning, we need to determine the, the integrating factor i of x. The integrating factor i of x can be determined by e is a power of 1 minus r integral of bx dx. And this is e is a power of minus of your r here is 2, so 1 minus 2 is negative integral of your p now is negative 3 over x. So negative 3 over x dx is going to come. So negative and negative cancel each other. Then 3 can be taken out. 3 ln x can happen. Okay? E is a power of 3 ln x. You can bring these 3 up. You see here as exponent for x. And then x cubed can follow. So you see students. Now the integrating factor i of x is obtained to be x cubed. Now look. Once you obtain that. The next task is. You see to use the formula. This is the formula we are having here. I'm using here v because here everything is written in terms of v, you see? Now we need to determine what integral of f is going to be. We knew that f is 1 over x. It's directly obtained from this one, 1 over x. And your r is 2. So let's look for what integral of f is going to be. So the integral of f is going to be the integral of, we knew what f is. It is 1 over x, so it's written as you see. And we knew what i is, it's x cubed. It is written here. Now look, x cancels x cubed here. We do have x squared. So the integral of x squared will be x cubed over 3. So dear students, now we have determined what integral of f is going to be. So we can directly now use our formula. You see? So here, v is a power of 1 minus r, 1 over i, c plus 1 minus r integral of f i dx, dx, the one I wrote here, comes. And this is 1 minus r is 1 minus 2, v is a power of uh, 1 minus 2, which actually is minus 1. 1 over, your i is x cubed, as it is calculated. Then c, look, 1 minus uh, 2 makes negative 1, so negative is here. This is already calculated, as it is shown here, it says x cubed over 3. So this is going to be now the multiple, this to each of these two. c uh, in times x to the power of minus 3, okay? x to the power of minus 3 minus this x cubed cancels x cubed, then minus 1 over 3 can come. So you may take 3 as a list of the multiple, then 3 c x to the power of minus 3 minus 1 can follow. Look, student, this is nothing but it is what? The value of v is the power of minus 1. So from this, v can be, you see, uh, taken to be the reciprocal of what? This one. Because, as I said earlier, you see, this is v is the power of negative 1. And the v is the power of negative 1 is like 1 over v. So when you take the reciprocal of this 1 over v, you can have v. You need to take also the reciprocal of this one, which actually is 3 over, you see, minus 1 plus... Uh, c1 is the power of minus 3. Here I use the c1 because here we are having, you see, uh, constants being repeated. So whenever you operate constants, you can use another what, constant. So here c1 is used in place of 3 times c. So we can do like that. So the value of v is now determined. So the general solution, as I told you before, is given by y is equal to 1 plus v. But we now determined what? what v is. So the general solution now is, you see, 1 plus v, as can be shown here. Hence, you see, y is equal to 1 plus your v is obtained to be 3 over negative 1 plus c1x to the power of minus 3. So this makes your, uh, c calculation over. So what you need to bear in your mind is the following. In the case of, in the case of recurrent differential equation, one solution will be given to you. So treat, you see, or use that uh, given solution and try to put your general solution in terms of what? In terms of a given solution plus v and try to change the number no less 1 to no less form and then apply the formula we derived in the classroom and finally try to unite the one you obtain here you see as a solution of v with the original with a given one and finally try to put your final solution as you see the first solution plus uh, the value of what? V, the one you are going to obtain after a calculation. That's all about, you see, this Riccati differential equation. So, so simple, I think.